What's going on, everybody? You know who this is. I am right now enjoying a small vacation in the Milwaukee area. I'm in Wisconsin. Visiting a couple of friends I met when I was on my travels. They were nice enough to invite me and have me stay with them. And we have interesting conversations. Um, they're very, they're, they're what I would call classically liberal um, with a slight um, tendency towards socially left-wing things, but they still have um, a mindset of traditionalism as they are um, in their uh, uppers, in their 60s, as you will. And before I get into the meat of what I want to talk about today, I want to talk, I want to give you a brief introduction and an example of an idea we call repurposing. And and the things that come to mind when I think about things that are repurposed uh, could be something like mulch, where you have uh, where you have manure and things like that that are that are used for a different purpose. So something that is commonly that commonly starts off being used for one purpose, and then the purpose changes with either the changing of the times or the changing of the material. There's a such video on YouTube, and I may link in the description, where a woman is talking to her cute little pit bull. And I have a pit bull, by the way. <clears throat> she's talking to her cute little pit bull, and she's giving her the talk. And she's doing a parody of that talk that they say that black parents give to their kids about the police. And the talk consists of standing over her pit bull who doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about but just sits there lovingly because the owner is is making verbal cues to her and she goes on and she says you know because you're a pit bull and because people look at you a certain way people gonna grab their kids and and uh, walk around you or walk away from you or bring their dogs away from you because because you you know you are because you're pit bull and people think that that's what pit bulls are they're mean and they're aggressive and da 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 right so she she begins to get views on this on these uh, TikTok shorts and the dog is extremely cute and I know that what she's doing is a parody but here's the thing about that you know most most jokes have truth to them and. The, the quote unquote the talk uh, towards a pit bull you have to understand the origins of a pit bull see just because you've become emotionally attached to your dog doesn't mean that its original purpose is still not in the minds of people who were aware that pit bulls were used for dog fighting this is why a lot of times pit bulls and terrier gr- groups that were originally working dogs were used to fight um, in these uh, in these rings, hence the name Pit Bull. Like you know, because the dog when it attacks, it comes with its head down, head in, and ready to attack straight at you. Yeah, he, she talked about the myth, the lock jaw, the lock jaw, the the Pit Bull lockdown jaw myth uh, was in the eighties, uh, perpetuated mainly by Negroes. Um, and the, the thing about it is, is that these dogs were bred. Uh, in a certain way so that their heads would be larger and they'd have a stronger musculature to be able to uh, fight other dogs in the ring. Now, let me give you a parallel on this between that and then when I mentioned I was in Milwaukee and when I, when my brother who, uh, I love him, but he's, he's very, uh, he, for most counts, he is uh, what you would call I'm more of a pro-black. Our politics, our views are, they somewhat intersect, but are a lot different. He, when I told him that I was in Milwaukee, he told me, oh, you better watch out for the popo. Stay away from the popo. And I'm thinking the police. And I'm thinking, what do you mean? And while I'm down here in Milwaukee, they have this, uh, this lakeside culture where people go to the lake. The Great Lake is almost like a, a, an ocean, if you will. It's so huge. And people go there and they're just like they're on the beach and they you know, they swim in the lake or they do whatever. And then on the lakeside, you see it. I see it. They all see it. 
And I've talked to my friends about this. They see the people with their pants off their asses and shit like that. And not to mention that um, weed is illegal in Wisconsin. And a lot of police don't harass people. But, I mean, we're driving by and you can obviously smell the weed coming out of the cars. Now, you don't... I haven't seen anybody smoking an actual blunt in public. But, you know, the, the, the smell of weed coming from your car is enough to... Uh, where the, an officer can use his or her five senses to determine that a, a law is being broken. Now, you've got that going on. You've got some illegal behavior going on. And then you've got your pants off your ass. Now, the repurposing of underwear. Underwear used to be called, I remember when it was called because, you know, I was raised by, you know, my grandparents and shit. I remember at a certain time on TV when underwear was called, they were called unmentionables. They were underwear was something that was intimate. It was something that people, they people used. They they first they used to make them their uh, their private parts uh, comfortable to be inside of pants and things like that. And um, also, when it came down to uh, sexual relations, um, underwear was uh, you know repurposed not just for that, but to use in, in intimate settings. But they were they were still things that were kept under your clothes and to see someone in their underwear for a long period of time meant that you saw them in an intimate and vulnerable state being in one's underwear and being public was something where a person felt ashamed because the underwear is supposed to hide your privates now it seems that the underwear is being repurposed into a new purpose which is to Be just like clothes and show everybody uh, your ass while your pants are down. Now, these people aren't simply sagging. Sagging happened in the 90s uh, where the part where the the waist of the pant is a little wider and it comes down and they pull it down a little bit and they have a shirt long enough to cover it. So sagging was done. uh, It was done in that way where it was a little bit it was a little bit discreet. But you knew the person was sagging their pants. But you couldn't really see it because the t-shirt was long or something like that. So the underwear was being covered in the past. And yes, uh, there was a lot of people that said that the sagging came from the prison culture. Which signals that a, a guy is open to another man's advances. And I can believe that. But nowadays, you have people full on just giving, just showing their underwear. Not giving a fuck. And this... This, this type of person, and I'm going to speak on Negroes because they're the ones who are always complaining about police harassing them. So I'm, I'm saying like this, you're sticking out like a sore thumb and you say, hey, look at me. Look at my underwear and my, look at my ass. Look at me with the, with the pants that don't barely fit me, but I pull them down so that you can see my underwear. And I don't care if you see my underwear. So what you've done is you've just repurposed something that was intimate into something into something public. And now if people and there's a sizable population, most people don't wear their pants off their ass. The minority of people do. So now we have this situation where people are repurposing something and the majority of the population hasn't caught on yet. So, of course, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb because. The entire society is not adopted showing your underwear as something that is um, something that's congenial. So if the police comes up to you because because they smell weed, they've already identified you as a type of person that doesn't care what society thinks. And you're going to do what you want to do, even if it repels people. Now, that's not it's not illegal. It's not illegal. To be in a public to be in public for underwear because you're still dressed, but it's frowned upon. But then you got weed. Now if the cop comes over to you, you got a problem. And then you want to say there's going to be some harassing behavior going on. So I don't wear my pants off my ass, um, and I'm not worried about the police either because I'm not out here one sticking out like a sore thumb, you know. And two, I'm not breaking the law. So I'm not really worried about that stuff. Um, I think the and, and the and the parallel between 
that that and the talk and the pit bull is that in order for something to come from one use into another use a sizable part of the population has to accept it as as the norm and until it's accepted as the new normal the old ways of thinking are going to remain until they change hence the beliefs about pit bulls being fighting dogs the belief about underwear that it should be worn in private right should not be shown to the public and the tendency for the negro to do both of these things and to showboat at the same time while while doing what they know they shouldn't do and this all can end in a recipe for disaster i don't do these things therefore i am not afraid